Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our videos and hit that bell for notifications. Also, head on over to our Instagram page and follow us there and check out our Facebook page for all our updated content. Thanks. Welcome to Cornell Marine Program's Digital Learning Podcast. I'm Rory McNish, and for this show, you're going to meet my dog, Clara. Yes, this show's going to the dogs, as they say. So stay tuned and find out why Clara's going to be our very special guest. Now, let's see if Mr. C is around. Um, I don't see him. What's going on here? Hey, Mr. C, are you, uh, are you there? I wonder, I wonder where he is. I mean, he knows we're taping the show today. Where, where are you, Mr. C? Well, I guess Clara and I have to do the show by ourselves without Mr. C today. I, oh. All right. Well, that was fast. Yeah, Rory. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hang on. Give me a headset on here. All right. You plug it in. Can you, can you hear me now, Rory? Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, I was just actually um, looking up some um, seafood recipes, you know, for a future show. Okay. Um, you know, we heard from viewers that they, you know, they really liked that clam chowder show we did uh, and, the, you know, the fishing show where we uh, cooked the uh, fish. So I thought maybe we could uh, do another one and some uh, different recipes. Yeah, okay. Well, those shows were fun, but um, I don't think I'm going to need you for today's show. So if you want to, you know, go back and keep looking up recipes and stuff, go ahead. That's fine. Yeah, uh, Rory, uh, what do you mean? Well, I have a really special guest today. So uh, I think that uh, she's going to steal the show. And I, and I know our viewers are going to love her. So uh, you're basically not needed. What? Yeah, uh, I'm being replaced. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you can't do that to me, Rory. After all the shows we've done together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where are you going, Mark? Hey, all right. Well, I, that didn't go so well. Um, I didn't think he was going to take it that hard. Uh, Mark, Mark, come on, man. Mark, come on. Hey, come on. Well. I'm being replaced. Can you give me a hint who I'm being replaced with? Sure. Here's the clue. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Here again. Dogs, Rory. Yeah. You're doing a show yeah. about dogs. Yeah, I want I want everybody to meet my dog Clara. You know? Yeah. So all right. Anyway, here's Give me a minute and uh, uh, let me go out and chase her down, okay? All right, everybody. I want to introduce you to somebody. She's uh, She is a bundle of energy, let me tell you. There she is. Hey, this is Clara. And uh, Clara's very active. And I can hardly keep the camera on her. That's how active she is. And she loves to play ball. Yeah, and uh, so we're gonna play a little ball, right? People want now. People want to get to know you, all right? And they they love dogs, but I want to talk to you about pet waste today. Did you know that that pet waste has bacteria in it? And I gotta go clean it up, buddy. I gotta go clean it up for you. Yeah, I know. So, what do you think about that? What do you think about that, huh? Hi, what, what do you think about that? Did you know that all, all dog owners have to clean up pet waste as well? Huh? Did you know that? Huh? Did you know that? Look, this isn't really working well. Do you know that? This isn't really working well. What? 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 This isn't working well, you know. Did you know that pet waste is not a good thing? I mean, you have to do it, right? Yeah, I know, you have to do it. So what are we gonna do? Huh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do I have to go pick up all your poop all the time? Yes, I do, I know, yes, I do. All right, so I, I gotta go get Mark, all right? So even though Clara's a lovely dog, everybody, I gotta go get Mr. C back on again. And look, look what I got. 
Oh. Oh, there you go. Hey, Mark. Yeah, Rory. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. I, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, Clara kind of didn't work out. I mean, she's very cute and everything, but she didn't answer all, any of my questions. And I know you, I know you know a lot about pet waste and, and that kind of stuff. So Roy, I know, you know, Claire is a great dog, but you know, what does Claire have to do with, you know, marine life, dogfish, sharks? Yes. Dog whelks. Yeah. Yeah. But dogs, come on, man. I think you're losing it. I am glad that you're back because, you know, I wanted to give Clara a chance, but you know, she's just really not, not cutting it. And you know, she's kind of like the focus of our show. Uh, and I wanted to have her on the show, but let me, let me show you this video and you'll have a better understanding. Have you ever wondered where rainwater goes? Hi, I'm Rory McNish, and this is a Marine Minute Monday. Water from a rainfall or snowmelt drains into streams, lakes, and estuaries. If it's clean, our local waters remain clean. Stormwater that travels over impervious surfaces such as roads and parking lots can carry contaminants. Think of all the oil from cars and trucks, fertilizers from lawns, animal waste and trash that gets washed directly into our local waters. Pollution that enters coastal waters via stormwater runoff is pollution that can ultimately kill marine life. For example, here are three things we can do and make a big difference. Be a responsible pet owner. Scoop up after our pets and dispose of it properly, preferably in the toilet. Use porous paving materials on driveways and walkways. And remember, leaking oil goes from car to street and into our waters, so please fix oil leaks. This has been a Marine Minute Monday produced by Cornell Cooperative Extension Marine Program. Okay, okay. After watching the video, Rory, you know, I can see your point. I know about, you know, pet waste, you know, and stormwater runoff since we've been working on that project here at Cornell for a few years. And uh, the pet waste is certainly one of our important messages. You know, stormwater and pet waste, uh, it's a serious issue. You know, pet waste contains bacteria and nitrogen, and they uh, both can cause uh, poor water quality. And Rory, you know, you know, Cornell Marine Program is working with the county since 2005 to help reduce pollution from stormwater runoff. Yes, I do. Yeah, the plan includes, you know, reducing pollution from pet waste, you know, along with other uh, pollutants, you know, that get into our surface water bodies, you know, like uh, Great South Bay, you know, Peconic Bay. Yeah, and even, you know, Long Island Sound. Yeah, poor, poor water quality can result in a lot of beach closures for swimming and, uh, you know, for shellfish harvesting. You know how much I love my eating my shellfish, especially clams and oysters. Yeah, Rory, you do like your shellfish. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, as far as beach closures, you know, I wouldn't want to have to bring my family, have a day plan at the beach, and then uh, you get there and the lifeguard, you know, tells you, you know, I'm sorry, you can't go swimming today. The water is uh, closed for swimming. You know, actually, in fact, uh, this past summer, uh, I think it was on July 31st, you know, after heavy rain the night before, uh, the county health department, you know, actually uh, closed uh, 61 beaches in the county. Wow, that's a lot of beaches, man. So, Rory, are, are you a responsible pet owner? Of course. I have, I have a pooper scooper and I keep my yard clean. Um, when we when we take Clara out for walks and everything, we have our uh, our pet waste bags to clean up after her. That's great, Rory. You know, I would like to remind all dog owners, you know, to be responsible pet owners, and uh, really help keep our waters clean for today and uh, also for the future. Well, I have two grandkids who live right here on Long Island, so I love spending time with them, and I'm going to try to do my part to keep the waters clean so they can enjoy our local waters and swim in clean beaches as they grow up. Uh, that's great, Rory. I know uh, your grandkids and other kids uh, certainly like going to the beach. So that's our show for today. And Clara says, please be a responsible pet owner. See you next time. All right, we'll see you next time, Rory. Rough. Okay, that's our podcast for this week. Thanks for watching. If you've been enjoying these shows and want more information on the marine environment and all that the marine program does, please subscribe to Cornell Marine's YouTube channel and hit that bell for notifications when we post a video. This isn't the only content we do. Our channel is all about the programs and outreach to you. Have a great week and see you next time. Oh, oh, oh.